Very dangerous as he gets it across to Mosajevic. Back on the point, it goes down. Whoa, Kromiak was looking for an option in the slot. Back on the point, Reed has a little bit of trouble with it there. It's intercepted by Landon Hookie, and it's a 2 on one shorthanded break the other way. DeLille in with Hookie. Hookie delays, shot, save, score! Shorthanded Landon Hookie! The second shorthanded goal of the season for the Owen Sound Attacks. He's their overage forward, Landon Hookie. Get it right by Jason Schauble to unlock, unlock the deadlock. It's a 1-0 Owen Sound attack lead. He makes a strong move to the middle of the ice. It gets tipped off of Cameron Reed's stick through the outstretched arm of Schauble and into the back of the net. A big goal for the Owen Sound attack on the penalty kill. Here come the Rangers now, two on one opportunity. Alanos and Lamb, Lamb, a shot, scores! Tanner Lamb. Picks his spot and beats Carter George to tie it at one. A two on one opportunity sees Tanner Lamb equalize the game at one. A wicked wrist shot goes high glove on Carter George for his fourth goal of the season. He just walks down Broadway. Elliot Arnett not taking the pass, takes the pass away and allows him to shoot. And Tanner Lamb doesn't make any mistake on that one. 1-1 one, one with 3.28 left. Slot, but nobody was home. Now a foot race back to their Kitchener end for it. Kromiak is there first. He gets a big hit by Harry Nancy, and now Jake Crawford has some room to move. Crawford, cross ice feet, Tersini scores! Antonio Tersini, perfect pass, buries it. Attack go up 2-1. What a pass, what a finish. Antonio Tersini keeps the red hot stick going with his eighth goal of the season. Jake Crawford finds him cross ice after a great forecheck by Harry Nancy. He corrals the puck and just sees Antonio on the back door. He goes high glove on, glove on Jason Schauble, makes absolutely no mistake, and it's 2-1 for the Owen Sound attack. You saw the... On oh, the replay, they're so fast, our camera didn't even have a chance to move, and it was in the back of the net. But advantage attack here, as it's back to Petrovsky on the point, over to Braden Rogers. Petrovsky looking for an option, he finds Hookie down low. Hookie, will he shoot? No, pass to Rogers. Rogers shot, rips it just wide, deflected out front. Now DeLille out of his reach, there's Petrovsky. Petrovsky. Looking, down low, McHugh scores! Sam McHugh, how do you do? Sam McHugh makes it nine on the year. The attack take advantage of the five on three opportunity. James Petrosky puts it right into Sam McHugh's wheelhouse and he goes high glove on Jason Schauble. It's three to one for the Owen Sound attack. And with that, attack will stay on the power play still for a minute 35 as they start to pass. Save, initial save is made. Landon Hookie will find it. Tried to set it to McHugh in behind the net. McHugh battling for it, gets it out. Here's DeLille, back on the point. That's a shot, scores! Braden Rogers with a bullet from the point. Domination down low by the attack forwards. DeLille gets it, he goes low to, low to high. And Braden Rogers steps into that one for his second goal of the season as he puts it over the glove of Jason Schauble to extend the attack lead to four to one. Nifty pass and a great shot, a kind of a knuckleball of it. Looked yeah. like it might have fooled Shobble just a bit. That angle shows that he didn't even get all of it. He just put it at the right spot and Shobble couldn't read it. And sometimes it just makes it look so easy. As it's back now for the Rangers. Romia has it. Dropped it off there, Mislejevic. Romia, his shot, save is made in front, they score! Rebound went onto the stick of Romano and he pops it in as the Kitchener Rangers pull within two. 
Follow the bouncing puck and it clips off Luca Romano into the back of the Balecki, Balecki finds Romano. Romano a chance, he scores! There wasn't much room to put the puck between Carter George and his arm, but he found it and the Rangers are suddenly within one. What a play by Alex Balecki. Goes coast to coast and then finds Luca Romano. He enters the zone, cuts through, has Arnett pinch up and then up and over the glove goes Luca Romano for his second of the game and his 11th on the season. Five minutes and six seconds left and the Kitchener Rangers have brought this game to within one. As the Rangers carried it through center, that's Reed dropping it off now. Romano throws it in the attack zone. Braden Rogers after it. Misiljevic in behind the goal, trying to find it. Now it's Swick trying to help out. A minute and a half to go in regulation as the puck is picked up and sent down the ice. Doesn't get all the way down the ice. That's Braden Rogers dropping off, jumping on it and sending it again. More time ticking away. Landon Hooky watching Reed. Attack won't be super aggressive here as Hooky already starting to move back. Attack getting into place as it comes into Braden Rogers. Rogers gloved it down, couldn't get it though. Now on the other side, it's Swick. Now Swick walks in, scores! Tie game! Fred Swick finds the top corner and beats Carter George. As there is a batter on the wall, left all alone in the slot is the big man, Trent Swick, who makes no mistake going up and over the glove of Carter George for his ninth goal of the season. A headsy play there by Jacob Kromiak just to see him. A pump fake by Trent Swick gets Carter George to collapse down low, and then he rips it. High glove, 4-4 four is the score with 57 seconds left on the clock. To Rogers, Rogers top of the slot, finds McHugh down low, he scores! Sam McHugh turns the fortunes of the Owen Sound attack in overtime, he wins it on Hockey Fights Cancer Night. Feel the roar of the Bayshore. Sam McHugh puts the dagger and ends the Kitchener Rangers lose winning streak. All set up by the two defensemen, James Petroski and Braden Rogers as they crisscross. Sam McHugh gets it in the spot that he scored his first power play goal in. 5-4, attack win.